up to the position you want to be. If it's in a if it's on a wall, do centres or, or do it level to the windowsill. Put your pencil mark up against it and measure where the bracket is locked. Sorry, on. Decide if you want it far off the wall or just a couple of inches. So I'm going to put this slightly off the wall and then measure how far off the floor you want it. So this one, for example, I'm going to want say eight inches off the floor. There's eight inches to bother the radiator. And to the top of the valve is 26 inches. So 26 inches. Measure 26 inches just there, like so. Level it. Your bracket, remember? Off the wall, off the wall quite severely, so maybe it's good curtains. So, top, bottom. That one I'm going to use these small holes, and this one I'm going to use the adjustable holes. Tip two. So we're always tightening these up with a spanner because if you use grips you might just shred the copper or the chrome which you don't want. Tighten that up nice and neat. That's the way I do it. Hold it on with your thumb. And then you want to wrap it with the thread so that when you're going to tighten it in, so you put it in the same direction. Because if you put it the opposite way and you tighten it in, it will just undo itself. So there's a few times around there. Because we've wrapped it with the, with the way we're going to turn it, it won't unravel itself when it's tied in. So the radiator valves, I've gone round 13 times, and I'm going to screw this inside here so it's tight with an adjustable spanner.